Yeah, welcome, to, welcome to this bonus footage. Thanks for sticking around long enough to watch. And again, if I didn't say it at the beginning of this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you like and don't like. I welcome all the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, what we're doing is uh, I want to show you how to put a decal on. Not like it's something difficult or hard, so I figured that's why it would be a good bonus footage. You know what I'm saying? So you guys see we did, I did this here. I actually put all the decals on. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put the bigger ones on like I did on the passenger side door. Let's take a look at that, and then we're going to get right into showing you how it's done. So I, I did this, this over here on the passenger side. So I'm going to show you how to put the bigger one on because the LS is, uh, that's actually two decals and then the pink, uh, X or ribbon, the LS is a two piece, uh, and the black goes on top of the white and then the pink X, uh, is on different things. But I'm going to show you how I measured it out and what I did to get that set up like that. And we're going to do that right now. You can see the groove there. That's where the original Z28 used to go. I kind of wish when they did this that they would have sanded that down and uh, or filled it in and then I would have that there. But you can see we don't have one here on the driver's side so that's what we're gonna do real quick. Let's get to it. We got a little stuff here. It's been sitting out, It's it's been covered but you can see all the little fuzzies from the car cover on it. So let's get rid of that stuff real quick. Um, for the most part, this is just water. Uh, I do have a little bit of detergent, so, uh, sink dishes, whatever detergent in there. Not a lot. Probably when I did this, this bottle was full of water and I think I put maybe a teaspoon of detergent in it. But we gotta clean our surface really good. Make sure we're not leaving any particles behind because anything that you leave behind will end up under the sticker and can create little bumps or um, bubbles, stuff like that. That should be good. So I got some tape here to measure and this is how I got that side at the height that it was. This is a good idea for anybody. I want you to see what I was going for. So the edge, this edge of the tape was going for the door and where the ground effect meets. So that that gives me the same, because that's how I lined it up, was this edge of the tape going up from this point here. So that this little bit of door here showing wasn't really a thing. It's just kind of, that's where I was going for. Well, we got to go backwards on this, so I can't. Uh, da, da, it goes this way. Right about there. All right, I got all my measurements. I figured it all out. I got it all set up. Bam. We got one more inch to cut off on the side. got that backing off we've got a credit well not a credit card but we've got a gift card here <laughs> we're a squeegee whatever you got and we are gonna douse this really well lots of water oh yeah just like that And 
and you just use your card to squeegee all the water out, push all the bubbles out from behind the sticker. This is probably too early, most definitely. Yep, I'm just gonna let it sit. Let it sit and dry like it's supposed to. Uh, and the next step will be, we obviously don't need this anymore. Wipe this all down. Man, I think I did better on this one than on the other side, because when I did the other side, I did catch a couple of bubbles. And this one, there's nothing. So, uh, the next thing we're going to do is get this LS on top of that one, and that is so easy to do. By the way, if you haven't noticed, it's the same way you would do like window tint. Window tint, lots of fluid, just a lot. Oh yeah, it's gonna be easy. We're gonna douse it again, really good. You know, it helps to put lots of fluid on there, that way you can Slide it around if need be. And then again, we got it on there. We're going to squeegee out all the fluid. I told you, setting that, some letters on top of one another like that, that's really easy. It's just making sure that there's no bubbles underneath from one layer of graphic or vinyl to the next. And where I get my graphics from, I'm going to put a link in the description, and there should be one. Here's somewhere where you can get yours. Uh, I really like this guy. They do a lot of graphics. Uh, and if you're in the Ohio area, Cleveland, Akron area, um, Jim is a pretty good guy. Uh, you'll have to ask him, but he may come and put the graphic on for you, or you can go to them and have it put on, or you can follow these instructions and do it yourself. If you've never done it before, or even experimented, I highly recommend having him do it, but uh, to each his own. Again, I'm just gonna keep squeegeeing all this out, no matter what. I wanna get as much air and fluids and bubbles. I just, I don't want anything underneath it. And nice and easy. Nice and slow. And believe me, I'm barely tugging on this. I am taking my time. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And voila. And voila. Just like that. on there. Now I can go through and wash the car and re-wax it again. Man. So, hope you like this bonus footage. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Keep being good, kind. Things are opening up. It seems great right now. This is going to be an awesome summer. Be good. See you later. Bye.